Oh, 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 Hi guys, Hyperlad of here, the Norwegian gamer. <laughs> and this is some gameplay from Battlefield Bad Company <laughs> to <laughs> Vietnam. <laughs> and it's uh, me and a friend playing some uh, Conquest, so you'll hear my and his voice in the background. Nay! You cut the mimic! <laughs> like that. <laughs> when I fail, knife <laughs> him. Well, what I really wanted to talk about is um, something that D. Crew Colin said in his most recent video, as of this as of this time we're recording, it was his most recent video, uh, where he uh, talks a little bit about Battlefield 3 and a little bit about the differences between the console version and the PC version of the game. And he says that he'll be packing, picking up the game for PC because he believes that to be the most um, complete experience of BF3, but he will also pick it up on consoles because that's where he's most used to playing. So he said that some uh, that some of the reason that people may not play uh, the casual gamers or most players don't play on the PC is because of the necessity of buying a proper gaming rig for a couple of well I would say a couple of hundred bucks I believe. Uh, it's a bit hard to translate into two dollars but a couple of hundred bucks wouldn't or the upper hundreds would be a pretty decent gaming rig, uh, rig I would guess in uh, in dollars and I don't think that it's necessary to invest that kind of money just to be able to game on a PC now granted if you're a graphics whore and you want the best of the best in terms of graphics I get that and the game for the recording just lagged for some reason I don't know why uh, if you want the best of the best, yes, you'll have to invest in a pretty decent gaming rig to get that. But if you just want to be able to game on a PC, you don't have to do that. You'll just, if you're getting, just buy a laptop of some kind, and you can use it in, uh, when, use it at school, use it at work, whatever. But you can still be able to game on it at night. Now that may not be the optimal, considering the graphics. But it's it's more than enough to just get some gaming on the on the PC going. I mean, I didn't buy a proper gaming rig bef uh, before October last year. And that's the first gaming rig I've ever had, and I've been playing on the PC uh, on and off, mind you, for the last six or five years. Granted, I was a console player before, but the last year and a half I've been gaming almost exclusively on the PC and before October no, I was gaming on the laptop I got through school oh. and yes I didn't get the best graphics and yes there were some of some games which are poorly made that wouldn't that don't run as well I'm looking at you Black Ops and of course also New Vegas didn't play that well on that computer um, but then again, which computer does it run well on? Um, but I got by just fine playing with not the best oh. of graphics, perhaps, and not the highest resolution. But if that's not your prior priorities, but you you just want you just want to play the games on a PC, that's more than yeah, enough, in my cool. opinion. Dude, and yes, Good. I get a little bit s a skewed view on this, considering I almost. I upgraded my laptop almost every year, and I would spend uh, well about say 600 on the laptop each year. You don't have to do that. I mean, I have uh, buddies that only buy laptops uh, <laughs> every so often, and they still game with me on their laptops. They don't see the necessity of a full gaming rig, so they're still able to play with it. So, that's the game clip coming to an end, so I hope to see you next time. Snuckers. <laughs> oh yes, check that one.